experiences so depending on my mood but yes bienvenidos a Zemaco Beauty if you're new here and if you're not so new welcome back yes I'm so glad you have joined don't forget to like share subscribe leave a comment you know because it's about to get crazy now for the elephant in the room <coughs> if you watch my last vlog then you know that um yeah i kind of messed up my hair so i've been just rocking hats and uh, turbans like literally i was supposed to do it the day after christmas did not do it the day after christmas here we are a couple days later and i'm about to fix it now let's do a little 360 as far as that it's 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 it's, it's yeah it's a sight for sore eyes so the elephant in the room is that I messed up my hair for the first time ever but it's okay it's fixable it's fixable it's fixable and what I'm gonna do I was originally just gonna put in color but what I'm gonna do is because this area and parts of this area did not fully bleach I'm gonna go in with some bleach so I have some bleach hair I'm in packets, I buy them in little packets, so I don't there's I don't even know if there's a brand to it. I just pay $50 for them at the wholesale. And then I have a little bit of 40 developers. So I'm actually gonna go in with um two of these. Two at first, I have three open, but I'm gonna go in with two of the bleach um what you call it, basic white. And then if I feel I have enough developer, then we add the third one. So yeah, pretty much, you know, I'm going to correct it. I'm going to show you how I correct it. I'm going to start off with bleaching first. So really, I was going for a red color. It's called Crimson. Crimson, yes, you're going to see it on your screen anyways. So I was going for Crimson. And yeah, Crimson wasn't crimson. But in all actuality, if I'm being honest, what happened was I usually keep in my like bleach for like a good 30 minutes now if you watched that last vlog then you would have realized that i did my hair after six after six and i should have been out my house by at latest <coughs> the bleach guys latest 7 30 so yeah the bleaching process did not process how <laughs> you know it was supposed to so that's one thing that went wrong so at least 30 i usually keep it in for 30 minutes and then after the 30 minutes the color now i usually keep in for about another probably 30 minutes sometimes i go up to 45 depending on my mood maybe an hour depending on what i'm doing because sometimes i'll be distracted but pretty much the long and short of it it takes me about I want to say two hours to at most to bleach and color my hair no I'm not gonna have you here sitting for two hours but we're just gonna chit chat and we're gonna talk about my hair so this time last year I actually what do you call it I actually still pressed my hair by myself and it came out came out it came out amazing the process wasn't hard you know I followed the instructions I don't remember the brand that I use, but I went ahead, I followed the instructions, and it came out great. It was a silk press that had keratin there. I don't know if all silk presses have keratin in there, but this one that I had did. And, um, yeah, pretty much, I followed the instructions, came out great, as you're seeing right now. I loved it, and it was supposed to last 12 weeks um 12 weeks and i think i cut my hair before that before the 12 weeks were up so i can't even say oh my hair was damaged or anything like that but i can show you how it looked like after every wash um after every wash progressively my curls started getting back but they weren't as tight as they used to be i have mostly coils um in my hair than um than like loose loose curls but it was giving loose curls so i don't know if my hair was gonna ever go back or revert to what it was before but i did see the curls coming back after every wash 
so I want to suspect that maybe it wouldn't have gone back to what it was before but possibly there could have been a possibility that it would have been pretty close or like very loose curls I don't know but I know a lot of persons who have done silk presses have had both good and bad reviews um for me I can't tell you to do it or not I can't tell you if it's worth it or not because me just I'm an anomaly I did not let it stay um for as long as it should have stayed so well not that I didn't let it stay before um as long as it should have stayed but I didn't go through the full process of the 12 weeks to see okay to see if my hair was really gonna revert or not but here we are I'm a bald headed scallywag right now and pretty much you know that is the whole process the results and the aftermath so you no know, why did I cut my hair you know um I think I did a video like this like ages years ago where um when I did my I think it was my first ever big chop so I cut my hair probably I want to say before this probably two or three times because I just love short hair and also because I do have okay before we get into that okay why did I cut my hair because I wanted to um a lot of persons you know they tend to cut they, 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 there's this myth or this saying that goes around where people are like oh you cut your hair because of a heartbreak and whatever whatever but no girl no guy if you're watching this it wasn't because of anything like that it was because I really wanted to um some persons you know were like oh you should wait and look how long your hair is and yada 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 um, I just didn't care. I just cut it because I felt like and in life if you feel like the something Just do it. Just do it. Don't let nobody make you feel like say You have to wait or do this or do that unless it's within reason Just do it baby because at the end of the day you don't want to live a life of regrets So if it is that you want to cut your hair and you have no attachments to your hair currently then do it do it get it done get it done like don't be afraid to do it um when i cut my hair some people when they cut their hair because of their attachment to their hair which again as i said i'm not particularly attached to my hair and people are gonna say that but yeah it's such good hair and i wish i had your hair and whatever whatever and this this that yeah the grass is green away you water it don't think because i had long hair it was healthy i mean for the most part i think it was but i did suffer from um traction alopecia and i still do even though my hair is short so i do suffer from traction alopecia on this side of my, my hair and it just basically basically this side you're not probably not gonna see it now because of the dye but this side of my hair when you look at it it looks definitely thicker than this side of my hair what can i do to fix it i really don't know i really don't know because i'm not putting tension on my hair so i don't know if it's stress i don't know what exactly it could be but your girl has traction alopecia um it's not as bad as you know it could be but you know I've I've even that you know when I did have long hair I had to be careful of the styles that I do so braids and then things there no matter how loose it do chances are yeah I would be losing hair on this side of my head like literally losing hair on this side of my head and that ain't cute but I got that not cute I don't know why I keep turning myself out again. Me, I'm just living life. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's not... So I cut my hair. Because I wanted to. And because of the traction alopecia. Which actually... Um, was getting better. But I think stress triggered it. So, here I am once again. 
<laughs> here I am once again at square one um, trying to figure out like what do I do so I'm putting in the third bag the last bag um, I think I covered the areas that need more processing and I think I'm just gonna cover the rest of my hair with the rest of it and then we're gonna leave that in for a few so yes, as I was saying, um, I seem to be struggling with traction alopecia and I just a live life. Zin, like, it's whatever at this point. Can I put all time on this? Oh, I don't need to. So I completely finished my um, 40 developer. I need to get another one on my next trip, which is next year. Um, next, next year and so how do i get rid of color i just put in bleach so when i'm um say for example if i have another color in my hair and i want to put in another color in my hair i bleach it and then put in the other color after so that's literally what i do so the front of my hair is very not resistant um it takes bleach and color really well which is what happened here um, but then the middle of my hair just does what it, what it just, it just lives, it, it lives its life. Like, I think when I used to be relaxed, what used to happen is that the middle of my hair used to process slower than the rest of my hair. So, so if you should see the perimeter of my hair, right, it has like this, um, Indian loose texture, straight texture. Um, I've always had that. I don't know if it mixed with Indian, but we'll find out maybe. <laughs> um, but I'm not one of those persons who really fusses herself about texture and about um, you know curling. I just as long as me look good, whether it, my hair be kinky, whether my hair be very thick, whatever. I don't I really don't care but I love to see you know like um what's her name again oh my gosh EC if you guys watch EC right her hair I love her hair and she doesn't do too much like I mean aside from wearing wigs every now and again when it comes to her hair itself she does take care of her ear on her ear nice and thick and look good so will I grow back my hair I absolutely have no idea for now for now, um, I am growing out the middle, hence why it's harder to bleach the middle um, because now it's a little bit over an inch and uh, yeah, it, it thick, it thick. Like I tried combing it out the other day because I don't really have to comb my hair like that. Um, I just put in product and go, but now that I'm, I'm growing out the middle, I tried combing it out. And yeah, your girl was your girl was struggling. So that is something now that um I'm growing out the middle. Um I don't think my hair will be as low maintenance anymore um as it was and I have to definitely take because it's not like I'm going to the barber and cutting off my hair like I did before, right? I'm literally just cutting the sides and leave in the middle which means i have to take care of it more so that's literally the future of my hair right now i'm not sure if i'm growing it back but i am definitely definitely growing the middle and just you know probably me i'll cut it after a while when it grow back and because me probably realize that oh yeah this life is not for me to be taking care <laughs> not that i don't take care of my hair now that it's short but to be honest, if I'm being 100% honest, the, the maintenance, I've been loving just waking up, probably putting in up, um, some product every now and again, but waking up and literally probably get up, brush, if I have a brush, and go, like literally. So if my mind take me, but my probably all, what do you call it, I probably, Cut it again, like after it grows. 
but let's see um, I'm not gonna set anything in stone for my hair I know for a fact one thing I will probably never do because I think I'm way too spontaneous for that is get locks I don't think I can commit to that I have commitment issues when it comes to that so I wouldn't get locks but in terms of growing out my hair I don't know yet I don't know let's see um, I have a great last future ahead of me and you know I have to take in consideration things like work um, I can't be having something that's gonna um, mess with my work mess with even you know like things like getting me to church early on time and things because I do take that very seriously um, which is what as I said I just love wake up and just um, go like literally wake up brush go put in product if I have to and go and then not own that because it's so short I use less product which means I'm less spending way less money which is great for me so see guys may I try comment and it now yeah yeah, 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 mm-hmm, yeah, people, stress right out, but yeah, that's, I would say that is the future, the future of my hair, you know, people are going to always want you to do certain things, and there's a lesson in this, guys, people are going to always want you to do certain things, they're always going to want you to um, walk in their light, they're always going to want you to um, do things that they want you to do and you know it's gonna be you have to set boundaries in the sense that you know yes people have the best are looking out for the best for you but at the same time they're also looking out for the best for them and what they want so you have to come to that place where you are like okay this is what I want that's what you want but i'm going for what i want because at the end of the day it's my happiness it's my choice to either live in regret or to live in my truth and what i want so you know with my hair people are going to always want me to grow it out some people actually love it short they actually prefer it short and you know you don't want to confuse yourself do what what is right for you what makes sense for you and i'm going beyond hair you know you know what makes sense for you what works for you you know you can't please everyone you can't you just can't um and it's just best to do what is best for you for what you to do what you desire you know and then ask for forgiveness later <laughs> yeah so literally that is what i'm gonna leave with with you and then i'm just gonna show you you know how i style it well how, what the colors i'm using how i style it and then we're just gonna be done for this video so you know let's get into it well we actually already got into it but let's get into the other part still some patches like here and here but we're looking better we're looking better we're looking bleached so as you can see I already showed you how to do the mix the color that was not the color I was going for but here we are 
I'm also going to be putting this on. I actually got like a hundred of these for like I think less than two dollars on Sheen. And then I'm going to also be putting oil around the perimeters of my hair. I don't usually do this. I don't know why I'm putting it on up front for you guys. But like I don't want it stained. So we're just going to go around the perimeter of the hair. Because the red did stain. I'm not like the red bit stain. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter of my hair. And do what I need to do. Right? And then literally all I'm going to do is add the color. And my other color. I'm even gonna put it on my ears, guys, because I don't want my ears to be stained. Like, I don't want it to be stained because you know, when it's stained, it's like, unless you wash, wash it, it now will come out. And I don't plan to wash my hair until a week after this. So, yeah, I can't afford to have a stained neck back because. The doll is gonna be going back to work and all of these things and I don't want people to ask me about a question or I doubt they will but yeah so just gonna put in the colour and ooh okay I'm liking it I'm liking it I don't know what I was going for but this is cute this is cute I might have to mix some more but it's cute it's giving it's giving, it's giving hot girl, but my have work, so I can't do it too loud, you understand? But I'm liking it. I'm thinking um, that this is going to be my signature color for a while. So it's mostly red, as you can see, the crimson red. So I'm, I'm going to have to buy back a crimson red because that's basically done. I'm also gonna have to, well, I don't think I have to buy back the honey brown and the Cajun spice for a while. Um, chances are I would do my hair every, or bleach my hair every four to six weeks. I try to go to my barber like every four, <laughs> four weeks or so. Um, oh no, oh no. Guys, if you're doing this, make sure you wear clothes when you're not mind get messed up. This is one of my sports bras that work out in it. It's one of the good ones though. <laughs> but we move. Um, but my hair itself, it's giving ginger. The color. Well, from what I'm seeing, I don't know how it looks on camera, how it's picking up on camera. But in the mirror, it looks really, really good. I'm liking it. Now I need to just full make that stay and see. to see my process whatever it was thank you for staying don't forget to like share subscribe follow me on instagram and on twitter and yeah if nobody ain't never telling no, well, no, no. <laughs>